Peggy 18. They succeeded. They built the eighth wonder of the world, the Ark. Unfortunately, it came a little too late. Brink takes place on the Ark. It's an immense artificial floating city built at sea as part of a contemporary green vision, but now existing around 2045, it's lost contact with the rest of the world, and it's the focus of an isolated and horrific conflict. In essence, it's on the brink of civil war. Right, we do this by the book. The worst of an inconvenient truth happened. Those ice caps in Greenland that could any day could just instantly go, that happened. And pretty much overnight, millions of people all around the world were displaced. A lot of them came to the Ark. The Ark, which was supposed to house 5,000, now houses 50,000. So they're running out of everything. They're running out of space, they're running out of water, they're running out of food, they're running out of energy. You have these refugees who live in abject poverty, where their resources are really begged or borrowed or stolen, fighting against the originally wealthy founders who appear to be hoarding far more than they need. They've reached the breaking point. They've had to step it up. They have no choice. It's in their own best interest, their own survival, that they fight back to take an equal part. And you have law and order trying to be maintained by the security forces who equally think that they're the good guys. They're the thin blue line. They are all that's keeping this place afloat. They are the unsung heroes of ARC. We wanted to make it so that it wasn't just hero cops versus evil terrorists, because that's boring. Uh, we didn't want to make it so it's heroic freedom fighters up against the evil oppressive forces, because that's also boring. And it's not how the world is. No one thinks they're wrong. No one says, yep, I'm evil, I oppress, that's pretty much all I do. You have the resistance being seen as terrorists by the security. You have the security being seen as oppressors by the resistance, and it gives everybody a good reason to fight. <laughs> When the game starts, it's literally the first day of that civil war, and the first choice you make is actually going to define the direction this whole conflict plays out. <laughs> 